Howdy folks, Jody Marler with Fish Camp, and today we are going to discuss fishing photography. So we are here with video guy, James, and we've got a few really standout photos that we want to kind of talk, talk about and break down. So yeah. what do you think, James? Yeah, let's get right into these photos and kind of talk about what we like and maybe what we'd even do different in the future exactly. for the next trips. Exactly. All right, so what I love about this photo is the obvious motion of it. Um, also, the fact that we are both wearing kind of the same color shirt and our hats, our heads are both looking in the same direction and we're both wearing those awesome fish camp buffs. Yeah, so this photo, um, and that's something important because especially shooting digital, it's just an SD card. I think there were four or five photos similar to this one, uh, and it's sometimes hard to pick out which one's your favorite. Uh, this one just is nice because of the symmetry, and um, you know, this is shot I think at one-tenth of a second shutter speed, uh, stop down to an F4, I believe. Hmm. Um, I'll put the specs up on the screen uh, beneath the photo. Great um, emotion. Exactly. I really love the emotion because, you know, if, if you fish, you know that those last couple seconds before dark are always key. key. Money. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, we're planning on going back to Lake of the Woods in July. And so, you know, what would we do differently? <clears throat> I think for me, there's a couple things. Um, so one would be, and this is just probably really nitpicky, but this shirt up here or down there in the left-hand corner is kind of distracting. Mm -hmm. um, I'd move that. Yep. Uh, I might also move the GoPro mount just because it's kind of unnatural and yeah. almost brings the viewer into the reality that it's being shot on a camera, whereas you just want them to be in the moment. Exactly, um, and not think about exactly. anything but exactly. running to the next spot. Uh, one other thing is I might just play around with shooting it with a little bit longer exposure just to get a little more motion blur. In any of these fishing photos that you see that the clothes are super important. Yep. And there's a great photographer, John Jurasek, from Blue Ribbon Flies that classically always had his subject with a red shirt. Hmm. And in that, you know, time of day and that money shot, that red just pops. I mean, I love this blue. It just fits in here so well to that time of the right. day, so. <laughs> yeah, that's something to always keep in mind too is your color palette of your photo. Obviously, with this kind of documentary style photography, you don't have a lot of options to say, hey, you know, let's go back out there and we'll throw on a couple <laughs> different colored shirts. No, you're that not ain't happening. That. Yeah. We're there to fish. Exactly. So, or hunt or whatever, yeah. yeah. All right, so now this shot. I mean, same thing. If you're a musky fisherman, you've been here, I mean, every cast, especially on Lake of the Woods. Yeah. Um, always have to go into that figure eight, no matter what, it's second nature. So this shot, obviously leaning outside of the exactly. boat, what, did you have the uh, tripod on it? Nope, just dropped the camera from the tripod and reached over the side. And uh, burst? Just fired away, yeah, yeah, there's multiple photos in kind of, well, there were probably 20 um, photos like this and you gotta, cull through them in your editing process and choose the best one. Okay, so something else interesting about this photo is um, it's actually, not only is it being backlit by the sun that's setting behind him, but it's actually being frontlit as well. And that came from the sun reflecting off the windows in the boat. Kind Which of is awesome. A by chance um, opportunity, but these are the things that when you're shooting these kind of run and gun photos, you have to kind of capitalize on a moment like that. If you know anything about me and fishing, I am not going to stop right. until we've exhausted an area and we're running to the next spot. So it doesn't matter, we're out there all day, James is taking photos and this is what we get. And it's just awesome. Yeah. It's such a crisp picture, you know, and even looking at the fishermen, I mean, 
you can see his eyes are leading right down that rod yep. to that potential musky exactly. following that bait in. And again, that shirt definitely stands out. Yep. That Sims, you know, Derek the Young brown trout graphic is just awesome. All right, so let's talk about what we would change <clears throat> next to him. Well, it's interesting. For me personally, obviously, the registration of the boat is distracting. If that wasn't there, it would be, it would just be a phenomenal yeah. photo. It's a great photo as it is, but that is the one thing. And, you know, being a musky fisherman, anglers cast on the left side, you know, port side and bring the fish into the boat that way. Rods are on the other side normally. Right. So... Um, I don't know if there's any other way around that. For me, something I might play around with and change is actually the horizon line. It's really crooked. Mm. Um, <clears throat> the reason I think it works in this photo is because it is on the same plane as the boat. Exactly. So, um, One other thing, I, what I would like to do next time is for you to get like an eagle or an osprey <laughs> flying over my shoulder. Or how about a muskie? <laughs> <laughs> Bring in a muskie. This to me looks like early in the morning. It could be, can't remember exactly which spot this was, early or late. Um, you know, the sun just coming over the trees or setting. And there's just that golden hour. Yeah. And, you know, the movement of the cast. Uh, there's just, there's a lot to like about this photo. But it's just, I mean, the sky, everything about that yeah. is just... Great, great photo. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so this photo, I believe, was at sunset. Um, yeah. And <clears throat> there's a couple things I like about this photo. I'm, I'm huge on details. I think that's really important to capture the overall feeling of a moment. But the other thing about this photo is it's got really great texture. So right. you got the, the plaid shirt. Um, with the sun kind of glinting off of it, it's really nice. You've got the cork and the rod, um, and then as well as kind of that seat leather. And for a fisherman, I mean, I look at this and it's, man, it is all day long, whether I'm changing a bait, sharpening a hook. Right. I mean, your hands are just raw. Yeah. You know, there's no face in here. That, and I think a lot of people can relate yeah. to it because the grind of musky fishing. Yeah. So this photo, and this was like probably one of the last couple days that we yeah. were there. Cause I was like, <clears throat> one, I, I wanted a, a shot of the boat. Yep. Um, you know, staying at Wiley Point Lodge on Lake of the Woods, you know, they've got these big docks and, you know, there's 30 some of us fishermen there. So I asked James if he could get a shot of that first thing in the morning while Matt and I are throwing our gear in the boat. And I just, I love that because you can tell sun hasn't come up yet. It's dark. There's just something yeah. about that photo. And, you know, Matt and I are working away you know, loading up the boat and getting it right. ready to go. Yeah, I think, you know, both of these photos, uh, they show different things, right? Obviously, this one over here. Yeah, talking, talking with Ken. Ken first thing in the morning, kind of different game plan. Yeah, and that's the deal is, you know, you're talking to the guys and figuring out where they're going to go, what they're going to do. And that's just part of the everyday routine. And so is this, but it's more like, okay, we're gearing up. Two different kind of things of exactly. the same moment. The exactly. Boat. So we have to talk about the weather, right? I mean, we're there... Uh, what was it like the second week in July and you know the previous year was just phenomenal this year uh, that was a tough year and everybody else we talked to same thing I mean yeah. we were getting storms pretty much every day I think it was probably the, the main kind of factor of the whole trip was weather yep you know and not only just for fishing but for photography too yeah so now we got to talk about the money shot. The money shot. Of this 72 inch muskie <laughs> that I caught. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was the greatest muskie ever, I think. Debatably 72 and a quarter. <laughs> if you want to pinch the tail. Depends how you measure. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was definitely uh, the best fish of the trip. Yep. And uh, it was awesome. 
we had a lot of great fish, a lot of great opportunities, but freaking muskies, you know, you just, you just keep reliving those. So once we landed this fish, you know, right. we yeah. pulled the hook out, oh took care God. of it in the net, and oh now the money shot. Big, big. You know, there's that yeah. classic, you know, hold it up here and down yeah, here. Yeah, the gill and just hold it off one or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a very pleasing shot. No. Um, I think in a way I brought a unique perspective because only shooting mostly trout my entire life, I wanted to get these shots that I hadn't really seen in the muskie community before. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, kind of this picture came along first and it just makes the muskie look really nice. I mean, they're, they really look prehistoric. They're amazing fish. Yeah, so I'd like to know the f-step on this. It's probably uh, a four. Yep, that okay. is a four. Yeah. These are all shot at four. Because um, that's, I mean, that head looks monstrous yep. on it. Yeah, so what we had you do is kind of tilt that fish a little bit towards the camera. Um, that just gives a little bit of an illusion to make it look bigger. You can call this cheating or whatever you want, but in the end, it makes the photo look great. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I mean, it's the money shot, and that's exactly. why we're all there. Yeah. Uh, the next shot is the release. And, yeah. I mean, this is captured so well with that dark tannic water of Lake of the Woods. You know, the musky graphic on the side of the boat, the, the clouds in the sky, you know, the green timber in the background, you know, the... the yeah, the ripple of the waves, yep. everything about it. There's a lot of emotion in this. And then you take that toothy musky yep. and, you know, he's in the water and we're just rolling it, trying, you know, and he's, James is just bursting on this. and Tons of photos. Yeah, yeah. it's just awesome. Um, so what I really wanted to do here was almost do the opposite of what the classic musky photo is, you know, hanging it up at the boat. So this is, you know, kind of mixing the trout world with the musky world in a way because you've got them wet, they're in the water, and it's this intimate moment between the fishermen and the fish they just caught. The, the happiness of all the hard work that went into catching that fish is clearly being shown. Um, this shot here where the musky's kind of on its side in the water. That's awesome. I think if I were to change this photo, I would bring that musky a little closer to the, to the mm -hmm. camera. Yeah, because good point. <clears throat> it doesn't quite capture the size. Exactly, and it being 72 inches, <laughs> I definitely had room to do that. Right, so, <laughs> and that's just, you know, and, and part of the tough thing is knowing and finding that zone where it's like, okay, let's take our time and make sure we get the right shot and let's not hold onto this fish for too much longer than we should. Exactly. Um, so kind of having these ideas in your head before you go out of well, an idea of a shot you wanna shoot, that way when the perfect moment happens and this finally does come, you have an idea of kind of the shots you want to capture. And let's face it, that was a tough trip. Yeah. I mean, we did not catch many. The previous year, I think I landed 13 or something like that. I don't even want to talk about how many I landed on this trip. <laughs> missed a lot. Both myself and Matt missed a lot of fish. And I mean, that's just part of the deal with musky fishing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I think, I mean, before we caught this fish, we were still in this mindset. It's like, we just need one fish. We need one good yeah. fish to take photos of. And it came, and the moment was, you know, was Cannonball awesome. Jr., black yeah. and orange Cannonball Jr. If you haven't seen the video, go watch yeah. it. The moment is definitely worth it. Yeah. So, you know, talking again about weather and how it affects fishing regardless. Of course, you know, there's good days and bad days with the weather but as far as photography goes you know we got up to minnesota and met tom Dietz up there and fished with him and it was just a nasty day we left montana and it was dumping snow the whole way to minnesota and it just plummeted temperatures and it was rough it went into um fall overnight yep. basically so with these with the snow dumping i mean it was it was tough for us to fish and i mean for you to try yeah. to get these shots yeah that definitely is a, a big challenge in weather like this uh, not only protecting your gear but it's going to get on the lens so finding ways to work around that and keep that from happening 
I kind of just tried to capture the layers of snow that were coming down and how drastic and dramatic it really was. Right. Uh, and it was. It was brutal out there. Yeah, and cold and, yeah. uh, you know, and the rolling waves, those dark waves. I yeah. mean, it's like wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. So definitely want to talk about this. Again, this is in the Upper Peninsula, that same trip in October. And, you know, this was a staged, you know, uh, James backed me in. So this photo is definitely, I don't know if I would call it staged. I mean, I went out, James dropped me off. I'm waiting for him to park and he's coming back. And I don't know if you said it before that you wanted to get a I shot. Think I did. It was a beautiful afternoon, beautiful fall. You know, colors were prime up there. So why not? Water dead calm. Is that exactly. tannic water again? And we had <clears throat> obviously that boat dock that extended out into the water so I could get down and you could cast, you know, a couple feet in front of me. Um, I remember this photo took, these photos took quite a few casts. Yeah. And it took a couple tries. Um, well, because you didn't want it coming right at you. I mean, I could have right. hit you. No problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> You're that for good me. of a caster. <laughs> and I think we had, I had trouble um, not only nailing the focus of that cast, because obviously it's not landing in the same spot every time, um, but you have to be ready to uh, get the splash of that water. So, <clears throat> what I ended up doing is obviously it shot, I think, in one two thousandth of a second shutter speed with F4. Uh, F4 because I got to have a little bit of room there to wiggle in my margin of error to nail that focus. If I'm at 2.8 and I don't nail it, there's, it's not going to be you know, as sharp as I want it to be. Mm -hmm. so. And for me as well, I wanted to get the shots of the boat. I mean, obviously I love that musky graphic. So this photo, um, you know, it's not a big fish, but it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of capturing that lifestyle, that that image of, you know, on the bump board of that fish. And again, it's a small fish, yep. not significant necessarily, but it is capturing the color, you know, the grit of yep. his, my brother's hands. And, you know, it's all a part of musky fishing. Exactly. So, um, I mean, I love images like this instead of that, you know, typical, you know, holding Just, the fish yeah. bullshit around behind you. And I think changing it up like that and doing it differently captures people's attention. You know, exactly. It's, it's something they haven't seen all the time. And this isn't just about bragging about catching a muskie. Not at all. This is all about the experience of catching a muskie. And something I like about this photo is, um, well, it's, it's shot on a 35 millimeter at F1.4. So really mm. shallow depth of field. So it's really drawn into a specific part of the photo, which would be his hands and, and laying that fish on the bump board. You fish so hard for so long and you hold that fish for so little time. So it's moments like this. I mean, obviously not everybody is gonna have video guy in their boat. <laughs> Too bad for you. But he's got a great eye and he is constantly looking for that. And I'm also saying, hey, I'd like yeah. this. and you know, feeding ideas yeah. that I have just from doing this over so many years, whether it is fishing or hunting, and it's coming together with his experience exactly. of photography. And it's, it's these moments that are captured that last so long. And that's what we're trying to do here exactly. at Fish Camp Creative. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video and you kind of like us picking apart these photos that we take, um, please let us know. Go down to the comments. Um, tell us that you like it. Tell us what you want to see. We have a ton of photos, whether it is trout fishing on the Yellowstone. Or salt water. Or, or salt water or yeah. anything like this. Um, I think the one takeaway for, and, and the, kind of the reason why we did this video, wanted to do this video, it is capturing the lifestyle side of it. It isn't that one, I mean, granted, phones nowadays take great photos, yeah. but you know, think a little differently. We all look forward to these trips and to come back home, whether it's a week later, or months later, to look back at these photos, it puts you right in that spot and it's those lifestyle photos. Exactly. And that's why we do this. If you wanna see more of the story behind these photos, 
Uh, you can go to the YouTube, check out the videos, whether it's on musky fishing or our Northwoods trip. Um, you can also go to our Fish Camp Creative Instagram where I post a lot of these photos with uh, kind of in a carousel with multiple other photos behind it that tell the story of how we are getting all these images. Obviously, we can only go through a certain number of photos this time, so make sure to follow us on Instagram, subscribe, leave a comment, and like. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot.